What's going on everyone, it's your rifle here and thanks for checking out my video. In today's video I'm going to be covering the new exotic hunter gauntlets called Kepri Sting. And actually I have yet to get my hands on these exotic gauntlets. One of my buddies on Xbox Live that goes by the name of EmanHicks2000 got me the footage for these gauntlets just because he had gotten them and I have not. So big thanks to him for helping me actually get this footage. But I wanted to show you guys some gameplay of these gauntlets and the capabilities of them and just do a whole breakdown review of these exotic gauntlets. Before I get started, if you could, please take a wee bit of your time and like and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with your old rifle. It is much appreciated, guys. The continued support continues to help my channel grow. And for that, I can't thank you guys enough. But anyways, let's get this Capri Sting review on the road. In my opinion, these Hunter exotic gauntlets are awesome just because of how unique they are. I mean, these gauntlets have a freaking beetle on them. And on Xbox One and PS4, the beetle is alive. But on Xbox 360 and PS3, the beetle isn't moving. It isn't alive. That's the only real difference with these gauntlets. It's just according on what kind of console you're playing on to see the beetle actually moving. As you guys have probably have heard about the bones of EAO, the new exotic Hunter boots, that allow you to quadruple jump. Well now you can turn invisible with the gunslinger class using these Capri Sting gauntlets. It seems like the gunslinger class is getting better and better with the hunter. Anyways, let's go over the perks first for these gauntlets. A quick breakdown of the perks that come with these gauntlets. Primary weapon loader increases the reload speed of all primary weapons, which works phenomenal for hand cannon users especially. Keep in mind that these work for any primary weapons. Yes, the Vex. Yes, the multi-tool. Yes to Fatebringer, yes, yes, yes. For all primary weapons, it's gonna help you reload faster. Which is convenient, if I might add. Anywho, next perk is Invigoration, reduces melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb. I have found that this is actually not that great of a perk, just because when you pick up an orb, it doesn't really recharge your melee that much. I mean, there's not really a significant amount that it recharges. I mean, it does help recharge it faster, but it's like a low recharge rate each orb. And lastly but not least, the Touch of Venom. This is the main perk out of these gauntlets. What they do is allow you to gain invisibility after crouching in a place for a short time, and also melee attacking an enemy from behind while invisible delivers four times damage. And I know what some of you guys might be thinking, hmm, will this work against Crota Rifle? And the answer to that is 100% no, it's been confirmed. I mean, that would be freaking amazing, but I think that would be a little broken if you would be able to do that against Crota. But unfortunately, no, you're not able to do that as the sword bearer. I'm almost positive that Titans and Warlocks would not appreciate seeing how overpowered the Hunters would be against Crota. I mean, already the Hunters are a very important role to play with against Crota. Now I'm going to bring you guys a bunch of facts that I have gathered from articles and forums about the Capri Sting that has been unfolded. If you would like to further investigate the information that I am about to unfold to you guys, well then check the description, I'll add links to the information that I provide. There was a damage test done in Crota's in normal mode versus level 31 thralls, and it seemed normal melee would equal out to 844 damage, backstab without the Kepris would equal out to 2444 damage, which I'm not gonna lie is a pretty high amount of damage, but a melee with the Kepris would equal out to a total of 4216 damage total against a freaking thrall. I actually love to see the amount of damage done with these Kepri stings while meleeing. It's just freaking awesome to see. Also, here are some questions that were asked about the Kepri sting. Does it stack with backstab? And the answer to that question is no. Blade dancers and gunslingers deal the same amount of damage. Another question was, does it work with the throwing knife? And the answer to that question is also no. I mean, it would be nice. I mean, I did try a lot with the throwing knife, and no, it does not add any type of effect with the Kepri Sting. I mean, that would be nice, don't get me wrong. A freaking four times melee damage with a throwing knife, and not to mention it's poisonous as well, so the lingering effect too. But no, the throwing knife doesn't work with these. Another question that was asked about the Kepri Sting, does it one hit melee kill in PvP? And the answer to that question is actually yes. But to be able to land that one hit kill, you're gonna have to make sure you are invisible when you go to do the back hit. All in all though, having invisibility in PvP world freaking rocks. Especially with the golden gun, it can be a deadly combination because once you go invisible, you're off the radar. But to sum it up, are these actually worth it to use in the PvP world? I guess it all depends on your play style. I also have found out that you're going to have to use the golden gun first and then go invisible. 
You can't go invisible and then use the golden gun because that would get rid of your invisibility. And also something pretty freaking awesome about these Hunter Exotic Gauntlets, they have a hidden perk to them. If you actually use the golden gun while you are invisible, it can leave a lingering effect on the enemy that you hit. And the same with the Blade Dancer. And also keep in mind the invisible effect does work with Vanish too. Also to add on to the hidden perk, yes it works with supers, but melee attacking an enemy while invisible causes additional lingering damage over time too. You don't necessarily have to backstab an enemy to get the lingering effect. You just have to make sure you are invisible. Some of you might be wondering, does the lingering effect kill someone in PvP from one hit? Say like you went invisible and then you go to hit the other player would the lingering effect end up killing that other player? And the answer to that is no, but it almost does. The lingering effect in PvP has four damage points per second, and the lingering effect lasts nine seconds. And don't get it wrong, I'm not saying that the nine seconds only count in PvP, it also counts in PvE too. I'm just saying that it does four damage per second in the PvP world. So just in case you guys don't feel like doing that extra hard math, I mean nine times four, ah, what in the heck? What is that extra damage? It is 36 extra damage with the lingering effect. And lastly, to wrap up this review, I'm going to give you guys some fun trivia for the end of the video. If you Google what is Kepri, it is actually an Egyptian god. It is the god of rebirth, the sunrise and scarab. Ra's aspect in the morning, I mean, that's what it says, don't ask me. Kepri was connected with the scarab beetle hinting at the beetle that you actually see from wielding these gauntlets. And actually, during development, these gauntlets were actually named Ikahika's Hooks, and its description during the development was, ah, no matter, the wound is not so deep. And its main perk originally allowed the player to deal additional damage over time to enemies if the player hit them with a melee attack while invisible, which is pretty much what it still does with the hidden perk of these gauntlets. And lastly, but not least, to wrap up this review, in case you guys are wondering, does it change with shaders? Do the colors of these gauntlets change? And to answer that question, unfortunately, no. But I guess that's about wrapping up this review for these gauntlets. I guess I gave you guys enough information about these gauntlets. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review, the gameplay, and not to mention the facts about these gauntlets. But I'm out of here though, everyone. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and leave a friendly reminder once again to like, and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with your old rifle. It is much appreciated, guys. The support continues to help my channel grow, and I am greatly appreciated, y'all. I would not have got this big without you guys. And for that, I thank you once again, and I'll continue to thank you in all my other videos as well. It is much appreciated by me. Even if you don't decide to like the video, even if you don't decide to like the video, the view of yours counts too. But as always, remember to stay safe and don't sleep and pee. That's very crucial information, guys. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,